Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and let, welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1. So you want to be a hero. Okay, we finished up here. Let me uh, increase the speed here. Alright. Let's head out of the guild hall, because we're all finished here. Back out in the main town. Let's head to the eastern part of town. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, we're taking here the inn. We talked to sh the sheriff, and Otto doesn't really talk much. What's this? this thing. There appears to be a note on the door of the barber shop. Look, note. There are some. There are signs over each of the buildings informing you of their purpose. Wait, let's go here. Look, sign. There's a sign on the door of the barber shop, informing whoever reads it that the barber is out to lunch. The door is locked. So no barber today. What's up here? You can smell apples as you approach this corner. The pretty young centaur looks at you and says, Good day, and welcome to Spielberg. Do you wish to buy some nice fruits and vegetables? Okay, so we have a centaur. Look. Centaur. Let's take a look. The creature in charge of the farmer's mart is a rather lovely and shy-looking young centaur. Let's ask her name. I am Hilda. Da I am Hilda, daughter of Heinrich Preferdeferden. Well, yeah. The farmer. Okay, um... Let's ask about her fruit. There are still some apples left from last season in the barrel. You can buy ten for a silver, since they're so small. We also have fresh cherry we will have fresh cherries in a couple of months. Let's ask about the vegetables. We have many kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables for sale today. There are lettuce, carrots, potatoes, and turnips right from the ground to five for a silver. They're very good for you. Hmm. Okay, that might be something we can look into today. Can we um Let's see, do I want to show some of the more naughtier things you can do in this game? Let's, uh, let's ask her about a date. Thank you, but my father thinks I'm too young. He will not permit it, but perhaps next year. <laughs> Alright, so, we guess what's not going to happen in this game. Uh, let's go into this, uh, look dry goods. A simple but prosperous looking edifice it is. It lo looks like it might provide some staples that would be use prove useful to a traveler. Let's uh, head inside. Look. This looks like a dry goods store, but it smells like a musty library. The stove feels nice on, on such a crisp day. Behind the counter and on the shelves, there are many and many and various items for sale. The shopkeeper appears to ignore you while he reads a book. Um, hello? Oh, I'm sorry, the shopkeeper blurts out. I didn't notice you coming in. My, you look like an adventurer. We don't get many too many around here. The brigands tend to get rid of most adventurers before they make it to town. You may be in luck. I carry a modest amount of adventurous equipment behind the counter. Would you like to make a purchase? Uh, yes. Oh, good! I do try to stock some things adventurers can use. I actually would rather be an adventurer than a shopkeeper, you see. My items are pretty ordinary, though. You probably already have most of them if you've done any adventuring at all. Now, what was it that you wanted again? Let's do a couple things. Let's look at the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper is a small, balding man who wears glasses. He looks as if he can barely lift the book he is reading. Judging from his clothes, he is fairly well to do. What about the book? Look at the book. You see nothing special. Look at book? Looks pretty normal. Um, read book? It's just as it appears. Um, um ask about goods. What do you have for sale? Oh, you don't want those. Those are they're for the people who live here in town. Adventurers just need adventuring equipment. Okay, ask about equipment. Unfortunately, I only have standard weapons and equipment, the shopkeeper tells you. I carry daggers and chain armor. Maybe sometime I'll be able to carry magic ones, though. I can only sell you foods or empty flasks for carrying liquids or powders. Okay, so he sells. Let's ask him about the armor. You can get really good protection from my chainmail armor. It's very heavy, though, and I would have to charge five, you 500 silvers for it. Okay, what about the dagger? Ah, the use of the dagger is the most skillful art. Actually, this particular weapon is longer than most, but still easily concealable. A bargain at 20 silvers. What about your food? Adventuring rations aren't the tastiest food in the world, but they'll keep you healthy and alert as, as you go along. A pack of five rations will cost you just five silvers. And finally, the flask. It is a very good idea to carry an empty flask or two in case you want to pick up a liquid or something else that needs a container. Our flasks are a great bargain at two silvers each. Okay, so that's what he can sell. Uh, let's say goodbye. Bye! And he goes back to his book. Okay. 
let's uh, take a look at this. Look, purple door. Yep, that's a door, all right. Now let's, can we get a better description? Uh, this house is the same color as the sheriff's office around the corner. It's a pretty good indication that it's the sheriff's house. Can we knock? There is no response. Uh, again, if you were a thief character, you could actually rob that house, so nothing there. And what's on this screen? You are in the northwest corner of town. There is a butcher shop and a bakery on the north side of the street. Across from them are the backs of buildings on the next street over. The tavern in the corner looks rather run down, and the alley beside it is dark. On the other side of the tavern is a rather practically practical-looking building, like a workshop. Hmm. What's this? Um, uh, can we knock on this door? Wait, knock. No one hears you knocking. Seems to be another sign there. Look, sign. There's a sign on the door which says, Gone Fishing. Since we can't get in the bakery. How about the butcher? Let's knock. No one hears you knocking. Let's read the sign. There's a sign on this door which reads, Gone Fishing. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, check out the tavern. Oh. In. Try it again. Oh. Look. <laughs> the grime window lets a little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt, and the bar with sticky beer. Okay, I apologize for that, folks. Ahem. Smoke, oh, uh, uh, wait, look, let's get that. We got interrupted there. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. Cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. Uh, let's walk over to these gamblers. Look. Oh, got any 899s? Go, fish. What? Uh, got any six, 960s? Go, fish. Look, men. There are several. Uh, look, um, uh, cards? It looks like these guys aren't playing with a full deck. Oh, cute. Let's, let's use the right click. Got any 946s? Go, fish. Who's this? The man on the west side of the table is wearing a blood-stained apron like a butcher. The man on the east has a, on a baker's hat. <laughs> the butcher and the baker. These are the two guys who are off fishing, but they're actually just playing go fish. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Got any 285s? Go fish. All right, let's leave these guys alone. Oh, what's this? Ew. Look. Uh, uh, stool. Look. Stool. No, stool. S-T-O. There we go. There seems to be something slimy spilled on the top of the stool, and it's eating into the wood. You think perhaps you should sit in the next stool over. You know, I never realized this, but who is this gentleman? What do you want? Uh, nothing I just want. So this is where the barber goes to lunch. The guy said so much liquid dye he looks embalmed. Oh, no. Uh, let's, uh... What, what is this thing? Uh, look, stool, the one next to us. There are three stools at the bar. Look. Floor? There's something on the floor right there. You see a crumpled piece of paper under the stool. Get paper. You pick up the note. You smooth out the piece of paper and read. B. He's starting to act suspicious. Better save this drop for emergencies. B. Huh. Uh, let's sit. <clears throat> what do you want? Ask about beer. You've got some of the finest ale in the valley. Only one silver. Ah. Uh, Ask about... Was that the only thing you had to say about beer? No? Ask about ale? Um... That seems to be a very incomplete message for some reason. Stand? No? Wait, sit? What do you want? Uh, I should be getting messages about the other stuff, too, but... Oh, maybe we just right-click. Let's right-click. That is jamming for some reason. Uh, buy ale? Bartender says, One well aged house brew coming up! It's all happy with his little. There you go! You thank the bartender and pay him for your beverage. And we should probably drink. This tastes as sour as it smells, and it burns your throat as you swallow it. Still, it isn't the worst beer you've ever drunk. Uh, ask about. Cask? This is a bar, I serve drinks. You want a drink? Order one! You want answers to your stupid questions? Get out! Fine, Stan. Jerk. Look. Look, dragon. There's a mightily, mighty unusual keg there. Dragon's breath is a house specialty, and it's Crusher's personal, personal favorite. Uh, who's this gentleman? This goon looks really tough and mean. He's not someone to pick a fight with. That is Crusher, by the way. Um, 
we'll get back to him later. I'm actually out of time for this video, so let's save our game as as uh, finished at bar. And actually, next video we're going to actually leave the bar and go exploring a little more outside of town. This is Firewizard23. Take care and bye bye for now, everybody.